All right, so you guys, you guys have been asking for a leveling POV, so I made one um, in the notes section. I'll have all the notes, basically act one, all the stuff you need to do. Uh, we need to find a green 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 for Katsukero Pierce Mirage Archer. We're gonna use that until we get to Merville. Once we get to Merville, we're gonna replace Katsukero with Rain of Arrow, and then we're gonna socket in added cold and Onslaught. You could keep Onslaught, or you could keep Mirage Archer instead of Onslaught, but definitely replace Pierce with Added Cold because Rain of Arrows is an AoE spell, so you don't need Pierce. Um, and then you're also going to grab a Toxic Rain with Ballista support, and if you have another green socket linked to it, you can get Void Minip. And you don't have to buy a new Void Minip, you can just um, take it as a quest reward um, at level 8. Also, we're going to switch Dash to Smoke Mine. Yeah, this is Act 1. This is like the most intensive section. And then level 16, this is like Act 2, basically when you're doing the bandits. You can get a second Quicksilver if you kill the White Beast, which you should do if you don't have a second Quicksilver. And then you should transmute it because you can actually get Adrenaline at this level, I think. And then after Fidelitas, we get a whole nother, um, we get a bunch of auras basically. So we should get Blood Rage as your quest reward, or Skitterbots. Whichever one you pick, you should buy the other one. So if you pick Blood Rage, buy Skitterbots. They're the same price, so it doesn't matter. And then uh, we also can get a Herald of Ice, Thunder, or Ash, depending on your socket colors. Um, ideally, you want them in this order, so you want Ice, Thunder, or Ash, but if you have, for some reason, a ton of red sockets, you can just take Ash. It doesn't really matter, but try to get Herald of Ice. You should have a ton of green sockets. And then at level 24, which is basically Act 3, you should walk into town at level 23 or 24. Then we're basically 4-link hunting. Every time you're in town, or every time you level up and you don't have a 4-link, you should go check for um, evasion bases that are quad linked. Um, it doesn't really matter what colors they are because you can chrome them and if they're evasion based you're you're probably going to get one of these two combinations. Um, but essentially our links are going to be Rain of Arrows with Onslaught added cold. This Onslaught can be something else if you um, want it to be. And then faster attacks or wed um, depending on what color you have. If you, if you don't have chromed and you have a green 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 red you can just use wed instead but I think faster attacks is better. And then this is our single target, Toxic Rain, Ballista, Totem Support, Void Minute, Vicious Proj. You get Vicious Proj in Act 2, um, somewhere around after you open up the, after you open the Dark Seal or whatever, you can get Vicious Proj. But you don't need to buy it until later, you can come back and pick it up. And then we'll take Anger or Wrath. Um, the reason we take Anger is because we take, on our tree, we take, um... Primal Spirit, which gives us a lot of strength, and Anger scales better um, early, so I don't know. You can take Wrath if you have a Lapis Amulet. You can get a Lapis Amulet in Act 4 after you do the um, Diallo quest, you get a Lapis. So take Wrath if, if you want Wrath, take Anger. I would take Wrath, but Anger is more damage. Um, and then grab the Fire Damage Craft from the Crematorium next to Piety. So when you go to the sewers and you're rescuing Tolman, there's a podium that gives you a fire damage craft. It costs three transmutes, and you could use it on rings, amies, or bows. And it's just insane flat damage. You should this should add like um, 30 or 40 DPS to your weapon. Um, yeah, always resistant. You get T3 resistance crafts for one transmute on any piece of gear for free from the start of the game. So if you ever have a, a piece of gear that has all the sockets you need and it has life on it and it's pretty decent. You can just craft resist on it, and if you do that with three or four pieces of gear, you'll have you'll have your resists. Um, also, um, two stone rings that are 16% implicit, so you can get those from vendors. They cost like two wisdom scrolls. Um, you should, by the time you're at Act Three, or you might even you could even get it sooner, like when you get Vitality, you can get a steel skin if you have a red socket and put it on your left mouse click, so you always have a steel skin activated. But this is essentially your, your setup for the entire game. So at the, I'd say mid act four, like after you get that passive point from the the mines or whatever, then um, this should be your setup that you would like to have. It's a AOE, um, single target, defense, damage, aura, 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 and then movement. And then here are some notes. Um, yeah, T3 resist crafts, you want to use those. You should do your normal lap as soon as you finish the last trial because we get a huge power spike when we get um, rapid assault because we have permanent onslaught all the time. Town, 
mapping all the time. So you want that immediately. So right after you finish gardens, you should go get that. And then, yeah, after normal lab, we don't need onslaught. So we can swap out the onslaught link, which is right here. We can swap this out for whichever one we don't have. So if we have faster attack slotted in, you swap this out for wed. Or if you have wed, you swap it for faster attacks. Or you can even swap in an increased AOE if you have a blue socket or something like that. Um, do cool lab before the purple spider lady. If you need a diamond flask, you don't have one yet, or if you want a sulfur flask or a consecrate flask, you can do the silver locket quest. I forgot what act that's in, act six or seven. And then raider lab, we're gonna take the onslaught path and then do the elemental immunity path. So we'll take the rapid assault, we'll do avatar the chase, and then we go quartz infusion and then avatar the veil for uber lab. We don't go this tree because it's not that great. It's good once you have a lot of frenzy charges, which we don't have early on. Once you have like, once you're late game and you have like corrupted gloves with plus one frenzy, you have all the frenzy on your tree, then it's probably worth doing this. But yeah, I think elemental immunity is really big. All you have to worry about is a bleed flask and you're immune to everything else. Okay. And then I have act two, optimal repathing. This is the only act that you have choices. Every other act is pretty linear. Like you have to start here, kill this boss and go here. Act two, when we kill all the bandits, you have a lot of options. I think this is the optimal pathing. So, um, yeah, I watched Tai Tai Killer and he, he does it this way, so I think it's fine. Um, I'll have this POB in the description, and then I want to talk about um, like what tools you can use when you're playing the game. So I have a little folder here. I'm not gonna give download links because uh, I don't I don't know if I can hunt these down, but. There's a tool that helps you level. If you don't know the quest line, this will help you. I would get Awaken Code Trade. This is if you do the Chaos Recipe. And then this is if uh, this is handling trade requests. So you can Google these, you'll find them. Um, yeah, I won't be playing the first day of the league. I got something to do, but I'll play the day after and then I'll catch up and then I'll post videos, maybe. I'll think about it. But yeah, um, the passive tree has one to eight. This isn't axe, this is just like broken into sections. So by the time you kill Brutus, this is what your tree should look like. This is probably Merville. This is probably when you're killing the Vol over Soul. This is maybe when you're rescuing Clarissa and then yeah, you just keep going. And then this is when you're at Blood Aqueducts pretty much at level, I don't know, 87. Yeah, this is about level like 60 something. So this is Blood Aqueducts tree. Um, I grab these wisdom, uh, these plus, uh, what are they called? I don't know. They're just like uh, attribute notables, I guess. Um, I grab them so I could level up my gems more, which is uh, effective damage. So I took, um, I had vitality, which I wanted more life regen, so I took this, and I didn't have enough strength, so I wanted more strength. And then this is for wrath, um, so I took that. And then it has the items that you should maybe be hoping to have when you get to Blood Aqueducts. This is from a real run to Blood Aqueducts, and these are the items on the character. So it's it's reasonable. This bow is pretty decent. If you have like 200 DPS plus, you'll be fine. And then I have the skill links for, um, for that character as well. So it's pretty much um, the Rain of Arrows. I found a Vol of Rain of Arrows in a side area, which you should go into the side areas. It doesn't matter though. And then um, swapping out Skitterbots for Sniper's Mark, it's whatever. It doesn't really matter. You just pretty much want to get get um, get the Blood Aqueducts by any means possible. And then there is a gear swap. This is what your Kinetic Blast or Kinetic Bolt. Kinetic Bolt looks really good, by the way, and I was experimenting with it. Um, in fact, let's log on to Poe real quick. Hopefully my email doesn't show. I'm going to hide it. Okay. Um, I hope I log on to that character. Let me show you guys Kinetic Bolt. I think it's going to be really good, in my opinion. The buffs it got looks pretty decent. Am I on the right character? Yes. So this is my Kinetic Blast character from like Harvest or something. And you can see Kinetic Bolt, which I swapped in. Increases the reduction of spell damage, also apply to attack damage from the skill 150% of their value. This got buffed to 200% which means spell damage that we get from our wand and um, other means are going to help kinetic bolt a lot. And also, modifiers that would, um, no, I'm sorry. There's a, what's it called? The anomalous kinetic bolt makes increases and reductions to 
attack speed apply or to cast speed apply to attack speed. So when we take a raider and we have a lot of onslaught effect, that's a lot of cast speed and attack speed, which we're basically gonna double dip. So we're gonna have like insane kinetic bolt attack speed like this. Um, it's pretty decent. I'm not sure if it's better than kinetic blast as of right now, but with the buffs, it might be pretty good. So it's just a matter of seeing uh, how good the damage is. Cool. So yeah, these are the uniques. I didn't put any abyss jewels because these are just whatever. You don't want to swap until you're level 74 and you have all these uniques pretty much. Instead of a tempest binding, you can get thunder fist as your gloves. So you can get thunder fist as your gloves, and then you can have any helmet pretty much. Um, so you can have like a rare helmet to fix your resistances and then you want to socket KB or kind of bolt into your Thunder Fist because this will give it added lightning. Um, otherwise we're going to use Tempest Binding because it gives it's a six link basically. So um, if you can get this that'd be great. If not use Thunder Fist and then replace your helmet with Resistance Helmet or a plus two Power Siphon Helmet if you can find one. I didn't do the skills because I didn't know how. So instead I will put a link or in fact I have a Google Doc. Hopefully this doesn't show my email too, will it? I don't know, I'm gonna hide it for a second. I have a link of the, okay, it doesn't, so I have a link of basically the uniques I just put there. Um, and then here are the links for when you transition. So I'll put these in the notes, I guess. You guys can enjoy these. Um, transition skill setup. This is gonna be kinetic blast slash bolt. Here you go. So KB is kinetic blast or bolt, whatever. I think K bolt's gonna be really good. But kinetic blast got new visual effects this patch, so I think it might be worth using it just for the visual effects. Okay, let's set the defaults on all of this to the start so that when I export this, you guys can have it. Okay. Um, okay, I'll have this link in the description. Sweet. Good luck, guys. Like I said, I'm not playing the first day. I'll play the, the day after. Sweet.